Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back again for Super Mega Baseball 3 and the Bulldozer Power Electro Sports Baseball season. There's a lot of words in there. Uh, our first game was not exactly brilliant, uh, but we've got another opportunity to shine right here as we take on Failurewood Hills. Uh, let's simulate the games ahead of us. So first up, we've got the 1 and 0 Wretched Minstrels against Stardozer Human Resources. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Minstrels off to an early lead, and that's how it finishes. 2 to nothing. Uh, that's good for them. That puts them right at the top of the division. Oh, okay. Right, right, okay. We're establishing early threats. Early here. Uh, meanwhile, it's Cheerio Inc., uh, who uh, lost their first game against the Steganauts, who really don't have much to say as far as their talent is concerned. And Cheerio win that 2-1. to one. Okay, so... Steganauts now 1-1. One one. Cheerio Inc. 1-1. One one. Okay, all right. Yeah, good. Well, you know, the season press is on, uh, but uh, it's next up is uh, is Bull Grazer Ridge and Colonel School. All right, yeah, okay. Go on in. Uh, Ball Grazer Ridge with a big starting lead. They managed to hang on and take the win there, uh, which puts them on one and one as well. Okay, okay. All right, that's, that's very exciting. Uh, and now we're on. Here we go. Extreme power hitters facing off against one another. The only problem that we've got is that our overall defensive rating is not all that. So we've got our default batting order up again. I'm going to stick with it for another game before making any changes. There has been uh, a lot of suggestion that Bernie Crampon should maybe take a seat. Hang on, let's, let's bring him up here. Uh, in favour of, uh, of uh, Brenda Ferrite? Bernie Ferrite. Whatever her name is, Ferrite. I can't remember. So so many names in so little time. Well, hold on, we can look it up. Uh, Ferrite, lady. Brenda. Brenda Ferrite is a B-rated player. Uh, Crampons is C+. However, he does have an extraordinary level of power. He may not move very well. He may not field very well. Uh, but he can hit the ball. And so uh, so that's the uh, that's the plan that we're going with. So we'll go with our starting lineup from last week. Vivian Crumble is your pitcher for the day, and she'll be facing off against Kirkus Bean for Failurewood Hills. Jack Snaggles, uh, I can't remember. Calippo Flavorings and Jemima Hertz, the former Bulldozer Power player, are the three to watch out for. Let's get to the game. No change in difficulty. We're going to keep things exactly as they were before, and uh, you yeah, know, well, we'll see see how we get on, I suppose. Uh, there's a there's a big crowd out tonight to see this one, and that's that's for absolutely sure. We're in the dome here at uh, is it Bingarta Bowl. Yeah, it's very nice, and we're up to bat first, and uh, Cindy will be leading us off. Let's see how we do. Batting 200. Okay, well that's what one of five last week. We'll let that one go. Kirkus Bean. Not sure what sort of pitcher he had done. Well done, Cindy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Out there in centre field. Here comes Papal Event Horizon. Uh, one of four for him last week. All right, okay. Well, you know, it'll be what it is. Yeah, that was in the strike zone. That one, not so much there. Oh, it's all right. Papal, keeping it calm. Uh, we're not in any hurry here. We've got to try and find our feet. Getting a hit. Oh, there we go. There it is. Uh, getting a hit in this first inning uh, will do a great deal to uh, to settle the team down and uh, and make it look like you know we possibly know what we're doing. Uh, here's Kojak Mister on. Uh, she uh, she batted 333 last week. That, that was a bit on the high side there. Yeah, no, no, that one was inside. Oh, okay. We're not uh, not easily flapped at this stage of the game. Quite happy to be patient. Because uh, part of the strategy, of course, is to uh, tire out these pitchers. Kojak having a big swing. That's got the mustard. Boom! There it goes. Kojak missed her on uh, with a nice line drive out there to right field. And that will be two runs batted in for Bulldozer Power. A fine way to start this game. But as you know already, uh, it is not our offensive prowess uh, that is the, uh, the most significant. It is the fact that we're completely hopeless on defense. You don't see a much nicer pitch than that. It was a slow, slow mover failure there, having a swing at the second one. That'll be strike two. Well, he's not getting anywhere from that one. He's going to be out, run to first. And that will bring up Furious Sponge Bath, who went hitless last week. 
And, uh, I mean, that really shouldn't have happened. He's a heck of a player, and we spend an awful lot of money on him. So, uh, so how long we're going to be patient uh, for him to find his, uh, his momentum is anybody's guess. Uh, but I'll give you, a, give you a clue. Not long. Hamill's in the dirt. He gets a walk. Well, we'll take it. If you get on base, that's good enough. And here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, the hitless last week, Zoltan Zoltan, uh, with our, uh, our last opportunity again uh, in this first inning. Well, he's gone early, and it's good enough. Gets him on base. Uh, would have been a would have been nice to have smacked that one out a bit further, but uh, it's it got the job done. It's Steve Morrie, home run for Steve in the season debut. Can he replicate that today? I mean, let's not get greedy. We've already got some runs, and uh, and that's a you know that's a fine place to start. Oh, and a attempted pick off there. Nothing doing. Not going to happen. Steve has a good drive there, that's not bad, but it's caught, and, uh, and that will retire the side. Steve not quite putting enough on that one, uh, but, it's, but it's okay. So first up to bat is Jemima Hurts, the former bulldozer power player, uh, although she did, uh, she did ride the bench uh, for the first two seasons of the team's existence. Uh, Vivian Crumble there, we'll, uh, what should we start him off with? We'll, we'll start him off with a, with a uh, two-finger fastball here. And whoa, is that a fork ball? I guess it probably is, isn't it? Uh, right, well, that one went in the strike zone, which is super. Not such a good one, that, but swung and gone foul. Uh, let's put one straight down here. Furious has got it. Throws to first. Out number one. Excellent. Good. Well done. Excellent play. This is what we like to see. Here's Calippo Flavorings, arguably one of the star players of the team. Didn't have a brilliant first week, but uh, but neither was it awful. Strike one, nicely down the uh, down the centre of the proceedings there, and that one's gone foul, which opens the doorway to a magical kingdom uh, of the fastball. Missed again. No, 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 not punished too severely on that one, Vivian. She's got a good rhythm going so far. Uh, but we've still got uh, still got more to come yet. That one's gone foul as well. I mean, if you wouldn't mind committing to one there, son, that would be that would be lovely. And that, that one bounced in an uncanny fashion. Well, he's certainly circuit, soaking up the pitches, which is not what you are. Flipping heck. Come on, mate. Just get it done, will you? I mean, hit it, don't hit it. I don't really care, but I'm bored of pitching to it. That one's up in the air. Crampons is calling for it. If you drop this, son, I'm sobbing you immediately. He's gone. Now batting, <coughs> second baseman. That'll bring up MC Kaiser Extreme, who had a home run with two runs batted in last week. Well, he's, uh, he is uh, extreme, after all. Strike one. Nice bit of fastball action there. That's not going to make the mustard. That's just, it's not making anything. I'm saying making the mustard. We, we use mustard quite a lot in baseball terminology, you know. Uh, but in that case, it was not actually appropriate. That's, uh, that's strike number two. Let's stick one right in the middle. There you go. That's gone to Kojak, who will trot over to first base and retire the side. No hits given up. A nice opening session there uh, for Bulldozer Power. They now need to keep the pressure on, of course. Otherwise, you know, it's just going to be a disaster. Anyway, here's Bernie. Now, if Bernie can make contact with the ball, the ball should go a really long way. The question, of course, is can Bernie make contact with the ball? Uh, we'd say we'll, we'll find out, I imagine. Anyway, that's ball three. I don't care if he gets a, if he gets a walk, that's fine. Bernie crampons! And he'll get on base. Not a big hit, but a hit. And that's, that's important. Here's Vivian. Well, she's, she's not got a lot to do. We could possibly go for some kind of sacrificial move here, but instead we'll do that. Bernie, get back to base, mate. There you go. You haven't got time to make it over to second. Just stay put. Sacrifice in the picture. It happens. You know, that's, that's just life. Anyway, here comes Cindy. Uh, she's going to need a slightly better hit than, uh, than what she's been doing so far. Well, I say slightly better hit. She's going to need a hit at some point. Otherwise, uh, her reputation that she earned in the previous series of being something of a liability is uh, is going to is going to persist. That one went slightly awry there. 
could possibly have stolen second if it weren't for the fact that Crampons is the slowest man in history. And that could be trouble. Because it is. Well, that's the side retired there. Cindy giving up the entire team. Well done, Cind. Uh, yep, that first betrayal from Cindy Vapid. And that will bring up Jack Snaggles, the catcher. 7.50 from him last week. That's, that's a nice way to start your season. Uh, oh, strike one. No, he, he thought, no, they're, they're trying to fox me. I was trying to fox you by a ball that was right in the centre of the strike zone. And I foxed you. You were foxed. Right about there. There you go. Furious. Hey, again with the stop. He's not bad as Furious at, me, at stopping the ball going too far. But he really needs to get a glove on it. Uh, well, no, he got a glove on it. What he needs to do is get it into the glove and then throw it. Uh, here's Hair Bear uh, for Failurewood. And, uh, I mean, he's, he's a, a long, long-time favourite of everybody who's ever attended the, uh, the Failurewood Hills theme park. Strike two, although more through luck than anything else. And that will bring up a finishing move, which he didn't bite on, which is a pity. It would have been nice if he'd, if he'd bitten on that. Yeah, no, 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 no need for a yeah there. That was, that was going foul. That one's terrible. Come on, Vivian, calm it down. I mean, we've got a, we've, you know, you're filling in for Fuega, so it was never our best pitcher. But, uh, and that looks pretty good. Zoltan is just strolling in for that one. Will you let it bounce? You clown! Oh my goodness me. Well, uh, Zoltan there making a complete dog's dinner of an easy out. Uh, and that leaves us with runners first and second now. Kojak. No, no dice from Kojak. They could be going for home. No, they're not going to go for home here. Although that was a terrible throw uh, from third. Uh, from from uh, wherever it was, now elsewhere. The left well, bases are now loaded, um, and uh, and there's no outs. Could this be a bulldozer power second inning collapse? Not a good pitch. Gone to Kojak though. Throws to home. No, you don't. All right, all right. We only needed one out, and uh, and we got it, and we didn't give up a run in the process, and so that's good. Could have taken the easy one. Possibly should have done. But, uh, but that's all right. Here's Patrick Intolerance. And uh, he's... Oh, look at him. I bet he's no fun at anything. Never mind parties. I bet he's I bet he's no fun on his birthday. Uh, right, there you go. No, ball one. Come on, Vivian. Let's uh, let's get something in the zone, shall we? Where's that going? Yeah, all right. Come on. Ease it in. Just, just put one in the strike zone. Vivian is not uh, being brilliantly accurate at the moment. Now, of course, I have to take some responsibility for that, given that I'm wiggling the buttons here, but even then... Oh, it's a strikeout! Well, the pitching was that erratic uh, that it got her out. Here's Kirkus Bean. Um, he has no batting ratings at all. If ever there were an opportunity here to, uh, to save ourselves from embarrassment... Zoltan, you're going to give up two runs. This is all your fault. If you'd have got that catch earlier on, we would not now be tied. <sighs> okay, well, the pitcher, who I just dissed for having no batting skills, knocks in two runs, which is disgusting. Uh, anyway, here's Jemima Hurts back round for another go. And uh, she, uh, she didn't manage anything first time round. But uh, one can't help but that oh, didn't work. No. Why are you throwing there? That's not a good place to throw it. No, that's another run. Fadywood Hills taking the lead for the first time today. Here's Kilippo Flavorings. We're into the top of their order, which means we're into their best batting personnel now. Strike one. Yeah, you didn't think that was going in, did you? No, but it was. It was well in. That's just a bad pitch. Come on, get these pitches in the flipping target. Oh, where's that one going? I, heavens to Betsy. And it's, it's, the pitching is not good. Ball three. We're not. We, we don't give up walks. That's not a thing we do. Furious. Well, I mean, I think he was optimistic there, but uh, but there it goes. That's a foul. Strike. Strike two. Ball three. Anything could happen. But what I'm hoping happens is that this is either a strikeout or a catch, because uh, anything other than that would be bad news. And that's gone a very flipping long way. Oh no! 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 Bounced off the top of the fence. And Calippo flavorings there, banging in four. 
or three. I think it was three. <clears throat> oh, well, that could have been worse then. Shut up. Get this last idiot out. Oh, dear. Well, and once again, our opening pitcher is proving that they can quite capably give up a lot of runs. Cindy throws to first, and that's the end of that. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, that was bad. Yep. Yep. That was bad. It was bad. But we're not out of it. We have already had hits. We have already scored, proving that these uh, this team is not invincible. But we uh, we do need a whoa 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 gently. Right, okay. I mean, if you want to knock a couple foul now, that's okay. That's uh, a bit late on the swing. It's got some distance. It hasn't got quite enough distance though. No, just a little bit short on the distance. Uh, here comes Kojak. Home run from her last time round. I, I doubt we'll see it again. But uh, you know, a, a positive start to the game is what she introduced us to. Really? Okay. All right. Kirkus is uh, is throwing nothing but uh, but strike zone at the moment. Kojak has a swing at that. It's not going to work. MC Kaiser Extreme throwing there the first base and that's out. Here comes failure. Well, uh, the big man had uh, had a successful first week and that's not got the steam. Oh, it has. Oh, it's. He had just enough steam to finish up landing, landing short, so he gets on base. He's furious, got a walk uh, from his first at bat. We're going to want something a little bit better than that from him this time round, though. Right, yeah, and uh, it rhymes with kit and starts with H. That's what we want. We want a, we want a successful hit. He's fine. You're not going to catch out. Uh, you're not going to catch the, the failure out there with one of those. He's, uh, he's like grease lightning. You wouldn't have thought it as a big lad. Strike one, ball three now. Uh, we'll take it. If I can if I can get another walk here, I'll take it. And there it is. Yep, two for two for Furious. Uh, on base both times, having been walked. We'll take it. Here comes Zoltan. Had his first hit of the season with his first at bat today. That's nice. Ball one. Strike one, but did not like the look of it. Likes the look of that, but it's not going to work. That's out, side and side. Oh well, yeah, yeah. Still, still got some kinks in the batting going on at the moment. We're getting caught out very frequently indeed. Haven't quite figured out the uh, the optimum line of approach of angle of attack of system, and uh, and therefore you know stuff. Bernie's going to get this one. Throws to first, and that's out. Snaggles there, gone. Here comes Herr Bear. He had a hit first time round. Uh, well, I mean, you know, you say that. Quite a lot of the team had a hit the first time round. So, uh, you know, that's that's not really breaking news there. I know, it's just continuity. That's all it is. Strike one. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Vivian now, throwing in. Ah, it's not so bad. Oh, well, it is. Zoltan there picks it up in centre field. Zoltan really needs to hustle a little bit more or he'll find himself, himself hammocked as he was last year. Uh, this will bring up Felipe Flexin, who uh, spends most of his spare time exercising his jaw. Places a little rubber ball in his face and just masticates for hour on end. And uh, oh, he got that one away and we've, we've got a tempted steal. Failure, don't just sit on it, you plum. Okay, right, well, that, that went not planned according to anything like. Here's Rocket Bobby. What now? You can throw a pitch out to improve your chances of... Yeah, okay, details. Yeah, we're not worried about stealing. I mean, I, arguably we should be. It seems like uh, stealing is going to be quite a lot more prevalent than it was uh, was previously. Nope. Okay, all right, all right. Come on, Vivian, get something in the zone. All right, that was all right. That was in the zone, I suppose. Let's try not, let's try not giving up a run. And that's adequate. Throws the third. They're going to go for it. And they're probably going to get it. Furious whips it in there, but the damage is already done. Patrick Intolerance up next. He didn't get a hit first time around. Well, okay. Well, he's a novelty factor then. Uh, hopefully, we can deal with him fairly quickly. Strike one. In your face, Patrick. In your sour, elongated yellow face. And that one looks like it's another gift for Mr. Event Horizon. 
And it is, and that's the side done and dusted, but not before they knocked in another run. Bulldozer Power now need to uh, think about coming back. And when I say think about it, they need to come back. We can't leave it until the final few innings to not make this happen. We've got to, you know, get the viewers on the edge of their seats. Uh, Steve Morris starts things off in a bright fashion there by uh, advancing to first base with a reasonable hit. Here's Bernie, the crampons, crampons. And uh, he, he had a hit first time round, surprising all his critics. Well, and me. That's not bad. Yes, it is. No, oh, that's very bad. And a double play there. Bernie Crampons there, killing the team. Uh, here comes Vivian. Well, frankly, uh, next time she's round, uh, she's going to sit. Ah, oh, flipping on. Should have sat her then, to be honest. I mean, it's not like she's pitching very well. Uh, but there we go. That's the side out once again. Here's uh, two runs batted in. Kirkus face like a smacked behind bean. Okay. Good. I mean, he's squinting so much you would imagine that he can't see. Strike one. Very nice. Very, that, was, that was most effective, that one. That one went straight into the bucket of flipping doom. That one. He's only a pitcher. You don't need to throw flashy stuff at him. That said, you know, not just chucking it straight down the middle would probably be advantageous. There you go. I mean, that's going all over the place, that one. Yeah. We're already on strike two. We didn't need that. Just get him out. All right, no, that's that's not going to do it. Oh, maybe it will. Bernie. He's not exactly got a rocket for an arm as Bernie Crampons, but so far that hasn't cost him. What's cost him is hitting it direct to a fielder and causing a run out. Uh, that's, that's what's happened. Don't call a curveball on the first ball anymore. Okay, all right. And Kojak. No, goes for a jumpy jump thing thing. Ah, uh, but uh, no, crikey failure. Would you mind just gives up a two-baser there. Well, the story does not get any better. Here's uh, Calippo. And uh, no, 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 stop. Stop calling the flipping curve as the first pitch. Also, if you wouldn't mind getting any of these at the target. I mean, where's that one going? All right, okay, hold on. I'm going to try a different strategy. What, what was that? I, I pressed the button before I was ready. Okay, try it again then. Nope. Anyway, that's gone to Bernie. He's going to throw a third. Not safe. That was out. I don't care what you say. That was definitely, definitely, definitely out. <sighs> okay, right. Well, you know, stop calling curveballs. Right. And uh, the, the situation is, once again, less than desirable. Vivian's going to have to dig deep. She's, uh, she's given up the farm at the moment. And uh, that's not, it's just not going well. I'll be honest with you, it's, it's going very poorly. Uh, the, uh, the opening of this bulldozer power season is a catastrophe. Strike two, finally got a strike there. Hey, well done there, Vivian. Well done. That one's going to Bernie. He's going to throw the first, we don't care. No, we'll take an out. I know, they've got to run. Yeah, I know, we could have got a double play, but I'd rather have an out. Right now, don't care. Just get some outs, uh, and then then, we'll, then they'll sit down, and we can have a go again. Strike one. That's more like it. Damn, that's strike two. That also is is more like it. We'll try the curveball on a third throw. It's up in the sky. Morrie's there, allegedly. Steve, Steve, please. Thank you. Don't let me down, Steve. Won't bode well for you. And uh, as we head into the fifth inning, Bulldozer Power trail by six. Having started brightly, they have uh, they've once again drifted into the territory of the damned. Cindy there wasting a very good pitch with a foul. And uh, Hair Bear's going to whip her out there at first, and that's, that's that then. Here comes Papal. He's, uh, he's on 500 so far today. We, we, are, we need him to do something dangerous. If by dangerous you mean actually stay in, then mission accomplished. We've got a hit there. I know. Who'd have thought it? Here's Kojak. See what she's capable of. Already picking up a few friends. Is Kojak Mr. on? Uh, but uh, she needs to demonstrate her ability to do well and things. And that's caught out by Patrick Intolerance there over in right field. 
Uh, Kojak can go and sit down. Here comes failure. Uh, no change for him so far. He's, he's had one or two. Needs Need more than that, though. Ideally involving a pitcher decapitation. That would be splendid. All right, ball two, strike one, failure. It's Waiting it out. He's, uh, he's looking for looking for the right pitch. And that's that's about as right as you need. A little bouncer to center field. I mean they're I mean they're, they're tough to defend those. Uh, possibly if one were to reposition fielders, they'd be able to do it. Uh, but who knows? Is uh, is furious no hit sponge bath? Uh, but he has had two walks, and now he's got the team out. Right. Okay. Good job, Furious. Well done. Yeah. 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 No, no. 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 That's brilliant. Well, wow, ex excellent work. His hair bear. He's uh, he's got two for two for two, and two of those as well uh, in today's game. Oh, finally a good pitch, and he, I think he's possibly hit that one out of the ground. Yep. Good. All right. Yeah, no, we don't need to see you celebrating. That's his first home run of the season. I'm so pleased that we were able to give him this special treat. Um, right, okay. Well, the collapse, it doth continue. And uh, it's it's not a pretty sight. That one's up in the air. Furious is in the right region. Is he, though? No, he's not. No, Furious is uh, uh, just a donkey. Uh, yeah. I paid big bucks for that guy, you know. And, uh, and what does he do? Nothing. Doesn't hit the ball, he doesn't catch the ball, he's not particularly adept at throwing. No, no, I can't complain about his throwing of the ball, his throwing of the ball's fine. Uh, but ultimately, he's just. He had a good catch last week. He did have a good catch last week. Oh, Furious there with a nice catch. What was I saying? Ah, uh, details. Here's Rocket Bobby. All right. Stop Stop trending towards calling curveballs. I don't know. I've, I've, I've been calling curveballs on pitch one for so long now, I don't know how not to do it. Uh, but uh, there we go. We've talked ourselves out of it. That one's going out there for Papal, if he can get to it. Papal, 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 Papal. I don't know what's going on with this fielding, but clearly it is not going... For, I've picked the ball up. Well, the Keystone Cops seem to be representing the team today and uh, and they're doing a perfectly good job at entertaining this crowd who, uh, you know, who came to see some baseball but instead of seeing antics. And those antics are not easy on the eye. No, no, it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's old, old misery guts is at the plate again. That one's tight, yeah, he'll leave that one alone as well. Do you want to, you know, do you want to throw a walk? Because, you know, that's not something we usually do. So, yeah, let's, let's stick one of those in. Oh, well done, Vivian. Good effort. All right. Okay, Vivian there. Uh, we're, we're doing sort of salvaging what was a pretty abysmal uh, run of play for her. Uh, here comes the... Oh, I hate this guy. I, don't, I mean, just look at him. He's got, a, he's got a face. You would not get bored of slamming in a car door. Right, there we go. That's out number three. Papal there with the uh, with the catch. But uh, the situation is pretty flipping bad. Uh, we've got a, a run of three 500 batters coming up. Hopefully, one of them can make a bit of a difference. More hopefully, all of them can make a bit of a difference. Not like that, Zoltan. That was going wide, mate. They, they struck you out with about a week and a half to spare. Uh, here comes Steve. Well, who knows? Ah, oh, actually leaving a pitch there. Very bold of Steve Murray. Not Meg's a pitcher, he'll get on base. Well, Steve Murray's turning out to be... Uh, he's holding the team together. As much as the team is falling apart, Steve is holding the team together. He's, uh, he's Bernie Crampons. And, uh, well, I don't know. Anything could happen here. Alright, okay. Good. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that's ball two. Come on, Bernie. That's ball three. Get a walk, Bernie. Bernie, let's not put any pressure on you. All right, he's taking the pressure. That's got some. That's got some action. There's some action there. Uh, do we want to go for home? No, we won't go for home. No. Should maybe should have possibly would have made it, but it was Steve Morrie and uh, he's not good. Right, Vivian can sit the hell down because she's been a complete disaster. And that will bring up uh, Veronica Hammock and uh, hopefully this will uh, this will be an impactful decision. Ball one, Veronica Hammock. 
what can you say about Veronica Hammock that hasn't been said every time she's been at bat? Uh, she's got very small feet. And uh, she's 27 feet tall. And Veronica, two at bats this season and two hits. And that's another run for Bulldozer Power, narrowing the gap back to six. And that brings up Cindy, the liability vapid. And uh, well, we're just going to hope she can play it safe here. I'm not entirely sure she knows what safe looks like or even what the word means. Nope, that one's gone foul, which is unfortunate. That was uh, that was a nice line. That one's going to get people out. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep, yep, double play. Cindy there, throwing away another opportunity. Well, Jeff is, uh, is being suggested to us, but, uh, but he came out last time. Uh, so we're going to go with, uh, uh, with Mark Disneyland as our relief pitcher here. Uh, see if Mark can't do some damage where uh, Vivian failed to inflict any. And it is Jemima Hertz who's up first. Here we go. That was Mark Disneyland's first pitch there for Bulldozer Power, and it was a ball. Is that an omen? Oh, that, that, ooh, there was some zing on that one. That wasn't bad at all. Okay, well, Disneyland has shown he's, he's got something in the tank. We're not entirely sure what it is. Might be mayonnaise, but uh, it might be the good stuff. That's not a good stuff, though. No, that's a, that's a base hit, if ever I saw one. Okay, well, that's, uh, yeah, that's all those pitches wasted, Mark. You could have just given that up on the first pitch, but no, you had to, you had to go through four to get that result, which was a bad result. Here comes Calippo. Cindy. She kind of jumped through the ball. Uh, failure doesn't know where he's going. And uh, that's going to give up all the bases there. Yeah. Uh, that was a very successful double. And uh, as mentioned, uh, at the up uh, at the up shot, at the, uh, at the outset, uh, Bulldozer, player, the Bulldozer Power's defensive rating is the lowest it's possible to be. And I think what we're seeing here is that. Cindy doesn't get to it. That's another run. That's probably two runs there. It is two runs. And uh, Steve drops the ball. All right, good. Well, we've got it all happening here. Ah, brilliant. Here's Jack Snaggles. He's locked in. He's batting 5-7-1 this season. That's nice for him. Uh, but, uh, I mean, he did most of that in week one. He's only one of three here today. Anticipated the slider. Oh. All right, Papal's got it. Chuck it a third. Obviously, we're not going to get anyone out. No. You've got a ball there, Sponge. Good. Here's Hair Bear. Home run, two singles. Yeah, that's nice for him. Yeah. All right, well, if, if they're anticipating the slider now, let's not call that either. We could go... Oh, where's, where's that one going? I mean, just throw it at the flipping players. I mean, I, I can't see how it's going to go any worse. Strike one. All right, that was something. That was a halfway decent pitch. That's strike two. And, uh, I don't know, let's uh, let's zip this one over there somewhere. Not bad. It's up in the air. Steve, are you going to... No, you can't be bothered. Okay. All right. Fine. And uh, the team favourite curveball. That's not bad either. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. All right, we've got an out. <laughs> Somehow I thought we were further along than that. But no, that was it. That was out number one. Genius. Absolutely genius. All right, okay, this is Felipe flexing again for his uh, whatever at bat it is. I don't know, should we say like 15th, something like that, based on the scoreline? That one's in the sky. Steve looks like he wants it, but we've seen, we've seen players get burned by this a few times now. All right, defensive moves coming in now. Rocky Bobby's had a triple today, and we're not talking about some kind of uh, heart operation. That one's gone up the middle. That's going to be a lot of runs. Yeah, it is. And at some point, Bulldozer Power are going to have to try and come back from this in the season, let alone the game. I think we can safely say this game's had enough. Uh, but in the season, at some point, we have got to try and, uh, and over, over, overset, offset uh, this disastrous state of affairs. Well, OK. Well, it's in the right region for Zoltan. No, it's not. No, Zoltan, Zoltan, Zoltan. That's a, that's a home run, that is. Yeah. Well, it goes from bad to worse. And then after it goes to worse, you let Patrick Intolerance hit a home run for three. 
Here's the flipping picture who they're now substituting, and it's Sherry Remix who's coming in to take his place. Well, she doesn't know what I'm going to throw, so I'm going to give her a curveball to start with. Can't help but think we've been less lucky since I stopped doing that. Not that we were that lucky to begin with. Oh, so where's that going? No, that's, that's not going right. <clears throat> okay, right. Well, there's another one. Come on, Zoltan. You can get it. You can get it. You can get it. Yeah, no, I mean, look, I applaud excessive diving at this point. Anybody putting in effort is fine by me. Doesn't matter if that effort is useless. The only thing that matters is that some effort is applied by anybody at some point. Yeah, we'll stick it straight down the middle. You know why? Because it's harder to miss the flipping zone. Cindy, it's worse. She had to go again. Effort. Come on, Bernie. Whip it in there. Never mind. No. Bernie throws it underarm to try and get the out there, but it doesn't happen. Here's Calippo Flavorings, who has in no way been an absolute nightmare for us today. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. You gave up second base there, Steve. Just, just retire already. Steve, you've been with the team since the start. You've been a running joke that entire time. And they're going to get another run. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I think it's fair to say that, uh, that what was working for Bulldozer Power in the past isn't now. And that a rethink uh, of the... Oh, flipping heck. Uh, of the situation. Anyone get there at all? Anyone? Sultan, just throw it somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. There you go. Yeah. Roll it along the floor. I could have thrown it to the cutoff, dude. I even know what the button is, but it felt it felt senseless to do so. Who's this? Jack Snaggles. Okay, good. That's, can we get him out? Doubtful. Cindy! No, no, no. Cindy can't be bothered. Even Cindy's given up now. I mean, she always used to make up for her absence of, of skill with the bat with uh, with some reasonable performances uh, with a glove, but no. That one's gone foul. And, uh, and disillusionment has set in ever so slightly in the commentary box. When you're down by 15 with several innings still to play. Yeah, well, well done, Bernie. That was, the wrong, that was the wrong move there, son. But, you know, it's all good. Zoltan with a bad throw. Bernie has to come over from shortstop to snag it. I think wholesale changes to the lineup is going to be what's required next week. Because uh, whatever's going on here at the moment isn't working. Uh, not even slightly. No. No. What? In the opening game, it felt like an aberration to give up seven in one inning. But now we know that's not true. It wasn't... That wasn't an error. That wasn't a mistake. We just gave up ten. Never have I seen that before. I've, I've dished it out a couple of times, but that was only when the difficulty level was set to ridiculously low. Uh... That's Papal Event Horizon there, getting halfway decent here. Yeah, I know, doesn't matter. We're stuffed, there is no coming back from this. So right now, all we're doing is, is just trying to pad the stats a little bit. Uh, is, uh, is Kojak. Well, maybe she can pull something out of the bag. Yeah, she can pull a double out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, well done. Yeah, good, good, good. I haven't seen that anywhere near enough. And one of my players getting two out. There you go. Failure there, having another go. Well, you know, he's... I would say, arguably at the moment, uh, Ulysses' failure is the uh, is the only bright spot. No, Steve Morrie, maybe. Okay, between uh, between failure and Morrie, they are the bright spots on this team. Uh, meanwhile, there goes Furious getting out again. And uh, and there's that. Yeah, that's, that's that dealt with. Good. Well, we didn't want the uh, we didn't want the agony to persist for too long because uh, you know I'm having much more fun fielding. Don't know where that's going. Apparently, you anticipated the first pitch change up. Oh, okay. All right. I'll stop doing that as well then. That only leaves me fastballs. So uh, you know I'll throw a few of them then I suppose. Ah, uh, there we go. There it goes another one. Well, I did throw it straight down the middle. Yeah, I know, and for once it was on flipping target. I... You put something something quirky, can't hit it for, for love and the money. You put you put something down the middle, they kind of go, oh, thanks very much. And you bang on it. There you go, right, yeah. That surprised you, didn't it? Yeah, all right, slidey. That one's outside. Okay, right. 
Back to the fast ball again. Ish. Crampons. Throws first. Sort of out. I wouldn't have called that out, personally. I, I think uh, those who were saying that Crampons' throwing style was too slow uh, were absolutely on the money. Here's Simone Downscope, uh, who is their new pitcher. I should have called her out at the time. I, I apologise. Uh, but uh, she's, she's having a go now. There you go. She, she fell for the first ball, curveball. Uh, she also fell for that. I don't care who gets it as long as one of you does. There we go. Out number two. But the inning is not yet over, for here is Jemima, knife in the back hurts, and uh, she's four of five in today's adventure. Strike one. Okay, good. That one's gone over there. Right, okay. All right, all right. Let's, do a, let's do a slider that looks good, but ends up being bad. That one's gone to Cindy. Who will throw to first eventually? And that gets the side out. Well, we've not seen that in a while. In fact, no, 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 no. We, we still gave up a run in that one. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Failurewood Hills have scored in every inning except the first, lulling us into a false sense of security. Well, I mean, when false sense of security are at play... What are you doing, Zoltan? Seriously, mate, you don't have to swing at the first pitch. Well, he's gone. Here's Steve. Two or three today. Home run last week. Steve Murray, pretty good. Not this time, though. No, Steve Murray, pretty bad this time. Now, you could say he didn't have to swing at that first pitch, but that first pitch was all right. Uh, here comes Bernie Crampons. He's had a double and a single in today's game. Doesn't swing at the first pitch. My goodness me. Swings at that one, though, and I don't think that's going far enough. Because it isn't. Well, uh, we're, we're, in the, uh, we're in the market of desperation now. Uh, Mark Disneyland is going to have to dig deep in order to find something here in his uh, arsenal of lackluster pitches. Uh, Kojak's going to come off first to try and get that. Is she? Yeah. She doesn't even play first. Yes, she does. Oh, yeah, so she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. All right. No, you were right. I know I was. Uh, who's this? Oh, yeah, it's MC Kaiser Extreme. Of course it is. Uh, Mark is already looking pretty rattled, but then giving up 10 runs in one inning will do that for you. Um, yeah, that, I mean, that'll knock your confidence every day of the week. Furious. He gets the ball. Can he throw it fast enough? Yes, he can. Furious with a rocket from third. And, uh, and that's gone very nicely. Uh, here's Jack Snaggles. Three of five in today's contest. Uh, right, let's have one that, uh, that ends up outside and see what happens there. Okay, Kojak's there. She's uh, she's looking for it. She's looking for it. Catches it. We didn't give up any runs there, look. Hey, how about that? Uh, right, Disneyland, sit. And uh, it's time for... Well, Brenda came on last week and did well. That's true. Let's, let's bring on someone else. Uh, here's Lynn Mephisto. I don't know why I'm putting her in, but I am. Okay, here it comes. No, I don't, don't like it. Ooh, that was a that was a gift. Lynn decided not to unwrap it, return it to the shop. Instead, decided to trade it in for some gift vouchers that she then spent on an absolutely terrible strike and uh, and got out. Here comes Cindy. Now, Cindy is on life support as far as my faith in her as a ball player. With this, uh, with this version of the game having a transfer market, she may find herself for sale pretty flipping soon. I'll even, I'll take a C grade player in exchange for Cindy because she's an absolute disaster. Where are we? Ninth inning. Oh, okay. Well, that'll do that then. That's, you know, that's sorted. Good, good. All right? Yeah. No, get me out of this accursed ballpark. It is bad news. And everybody who sails in it is cursed and virulent. So, uh, another loss there for Bulldozer Power. Uh, 20 to 3. Again, got some hits. Even scored in two innings there. Uh, but the, uh, the excuse we had last week does not exist. Where are the bright sparks here? Well, Furious got uh, two bonus bases there. That's, uh, yeah. Didn't hit the ball, though. No, no, didn't hit the ball at all. Uh, Cindy didn't hit the ball from five at bats. Yeah. I think Cindy is going onto the uh, transfer list. 
Failure got three hits. That's pretty good. Papal Event Horizon also three hits for him too. Uh, Kojak missed a run. Uh, only one hit, but didn't get a home run. So that counts for something too. Look, I'm trying to paint a positive picture where I can. Uh, uh, Vivian got a strikeout, gave up two home runs. Then Mark Disneyland came on, gave up another two home runs, and then we decided that life really wasn't living any, worth living at all anymore. Uh, Kirkus Bean gave up 11 hits. Uh, okay. And then uh, Downscope finished us off there. Your three stars, Rocket Bobby, uh, who batted in four runs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've got a home run there as well. Yeah, that's okay, okay, fine. Uh, and then uh, Calippo flavorings and hair bear. Well, it's a desperately poor state of affairs. We'll uh, we'll simulate up a couple of games here. Uh, so here's the here's the medics versus the nomads. Medics off to a lead, and they manage to hold on, finishing two to one. I tell you what, we might be losing, but uh, our score lines are at least somewhat interesting. Uh, here's FC Failure Grad against Peninsula Transport. And uh, Failure Grad putting up some good numbers there. 9 to 1, the result. Uh, the Beekeepers now against the Colonel Space Agency. Both teams with a win under their belts, or wherever it is they choose to keep their wins. And the Space Agency take the win on that one. Next is the Pirates versus the Fun Bus. Uh, Pirates, obviously, having taken us down in week one. And Sunshine Fun Bus put them away. No problem at all. And has everybody played two weeks now? It looks that way. Uh, undefeated, the Wretched Minstrel, Sunshine, Fun Bus, Failurewood Hills, and Colonel Space Agency. Uh, with the uh, the point deficit that we had there, obviously, Failurewood Hills have got quite the run difference lead. Next up is Bulldozer Power versus the Wretched, 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 wretched yes, Minstrels. However, we're going into sign and release. And uh, yeah, yeah, I want my players, please. There we go. Cindy Vapid is 12.3 million that's a lot that is the third most expensive player on the team she's very 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 fast yeah i don't steal that would make her largely redundant then yeah it would i'm very tempted to flog her in fact can is there is there trading or is there just cut them and sign them uh who's available on the uh, on the available players list here 25 million for this dude. Aspen Heaps. Yes. Hmm. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We can't we can't afford him. Even if I were to dump Cindy, we'd we'd be in the 12 million range. Uh Cowie Drake. He's a uh, no, I don't like the look of him. They have to they have to look like they'd fit the team. Leighton Leathers. Really? Okay. Yeah. I better be able to rename these people. Uh yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna debate it probably for a little while uh why don't you tell me what you think we should do ah do you think that cindy vapid should be cut loose after two games well it'll be three games because obviously i'll play the next game before i act on it or maybe i'll, I'll cut before the game or maybe i'll just bench her there we are oh hello what's oh whoa, 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 whoa. what's going on here we've got some player development going on i should have i should have read this already uh steve Murray just can't see the ball like they used to ah okay yeah. Tulip Banter made a Venn diagram comparing pitching to snowball fights. Okay, she's got she just picked up an extra fifteen points of velocity. Okay. Uh and then uh, what have we got here? Brenda Ferrite. That's a, it's a player development opportunity. We haven't got uh, we haven't got any money to do that. Uh the amount of money you receive in training funds is related to the amount of money your roster costs in total, which is why uh out of that three hundred thousand you'll see there. I'm, I'm trying to get close to it. See where I'm hovering over economy? Just look to the right of that a little bit. 300 grand is how far under budget I am. And uh, you get 5% of that per week as your training budget. So uh, if I were to cut Cindy, that would make me 12.5 under, which would give me a lot of training budget to play with. I know, it's pretty thr flipping thrilling. There you go, there's your summary. Current season number one, win loss record 0 and 2. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe and buy your season ticket now, and I'll catch you next week where hopefully we won't play quite as badly. Cheerio. But well, there you go, two games, two losses, and neither of them particularly good losses either. No, we gave those away well, like we really didn't care at all. Just, just, just a pitiful performance this week. Uh, absolutely terrible, and I think the conclusion I've come to is I'm going to have to drop the difficulty a little bit. Don't want to. 
but uh, but I will do until I get my you know until I get my familiarity levels up a little bit higher. On in terms of Cindy, I am yeah I am thinking about giving her the boot, but I'm going to drop the difficulty first and let's see if she she turns around a performance or six. I might also have to look into whether we can steal some bases. Oh dearie me. Uh, yeah, all, the, all of this has got disaster written all over it. Anyway, it's early in the season, and uh, we've still got a long way to go. 20 games in the regular season before the uh, before the old playoffs there. So we're going to be around for a while. And let me tell you right now, this series is going to evolve. Oh, yeah. As well as the, the, the drama of the baseball, it's going to evolve. Yeah, soon, probably, could happen. Okay, right, gone. About your business. Uh, I'll see you back on the terraces next week. Are they called terraces? Bleachers, I think somebody calls them somewhere. Uh, so yeah, back in the back in the bleach next week. Don't drink bleach. <laughs>